standing until after the invocation, national anthem, and territorial song have been rendered.
Thank you. Speaker of the House of Assembly, the Honorable Corinne George Massacott, Deputy Premier and fin Minister of Financial Services, Labor and Trade, Honorable Lorna Smith, OBE, Minister of Education, Youth Affairs, Sports, Honorable Sherry DeCastro, Minister for Communication and Works, the Honorable Kai M. Reimer and Mrs. Reimer, Minister of Health and Social Development, the Honorable Vincent O. Wheatley, Deputy Governor, Mr. David Archer, Leader of the Opposition, the Honorable Ronnie Skelton, Junior Minister for Agriculture and Fisheries, Dr. The Honorable Carl Darson, Junior Minister for Culture and Tourism, The Honorable Luce Hodge Smith, Chairman of the Board of Governor of the H. Leverty Stout Community College, Arthur Richardson, other members of the Board of Governors of the H. Leverty Stout Community College, other members of the platform, President, members of faculty, and staff of the H. Leverty Stout Community College graduates, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure in the name of the Board of Governors, officers, and faculty of the H. Leverty Stout Community College to call the 2003 graduation exercise to order. Minister Henderson Tittle will deliver this afternoon's invocation immediately after which the national anthem and the territorial song will be rendered. Let's pray. Father and eternal God, we thank you for your goodness for your loving kindness, and for this opportunity that you have given unto us, Lord, at this moment, Lord. As we celebrate today, O oh God, we ask that everything will be done decently and in order, and you will be glorified. In your name we pray, amen.
may now be seated. Please note the following protocols being observed for this afternoon's proceedings. Masks are not mandatory, but can be worn. No crowding in the aisles or at the platform for picture taking will be permitted. Dr. Georges will now come to the podium to give remarks and present give remarks and presentation of our guests. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure today to welcome you to the 30th graduation exercises of the H. Laverty Stout Community College. Recognizing the protocol has already been established, I would like to recognize collectively those members of the college's Board of Governors who are able to join us today. Please stand. Thank you. I will now take a brief moment to introduce those sharing the platform with me this afternoon. Chairman of the Board of Governors, Professor Emeritus, Dr. Arthur Richardson, please rise when I call your name. Minister for Education, Youth Affairs and Sports, the Honorable Shari De Castro. Our keynote speaker and HLSCC alumnus, Mr. Darrell Flanders. Dr. Arlene Smith Thompson, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Louverne Vantevu Baptiste, Vice President of Operations. Mrs. Janice Dawson, Registrar and Director of Enrollment Management. Mrs. Marva Wheatley Dawson, Dean of the Workforce Training Division. Dr. Jasmati Yamraj, Dean of Arts and Sciences. Minister Henderson Tittle. Mrs. Eleanor George Bursa. Mrs. Stephanie Russ Penn, Head of Mathematics and Natural Sciences. Ms. Tanique Scatliff, our student respondent. And our marshals, Ms. Emily George and Mrs. Brianna Dawson Sheriff. We welcome each and every one of you here today to celebrate with those who have completed their degrees or certificate requirements. They will, in a short while, receive our official acknowledgement of their attainments. To the graduates, families, friends, supporters, and the wider community, I welcome you to the 2023 graduation exercises of H. Lavdistow Community College. Join me as we applaud the graduating class. We indeed look forward to them taking the rightful place in society and helping us to build a more beautiful Virgin Islands. The word graduate comes from the Latin gradus, meaning degree or step. It is a way for us to assess and measure finite quantities, extents, points, steps. Today, the degrees to be conferred each signify 
the significant step you have taken towards your various futures. Your regalia includes the cap and gown, your stole, as well as other distinguishing cords that signify academic achievement or membership of a particular society. The tradition of donning regalia at the ceremony, marking the completion of studies, dates back at least to the 12th century, when the academy was largely an endeavor of the clergy, who wore gowns and hoods, and their students wore the same to set them apart from regular citizens. Your stole, the kente cloth, represents the ancient wisdom of Africa and the persistent struggle to reclaim knowledge of self. You, graduates, are at a threshold of the next adventure, filled with unknown possibilities and challenges. And we are gathered here today to wish you all great favor on your journeys. As you close this chapter, remember with fondness your time with us, especially the moments that demanded something more than what you expected of yourself. Each graduation is an opportunity as well for the college to take stock of our impact in the communities that we serve. We embrace the vitality and vibrance of our students, as well as the resilience and dedication of our faculty and staff. I exhort you all now to see yourselves as ambassadors of the college and of the Virgin Islands, to see your futures as being tied to the futures of your peers and to recognize that it's only through hard work, discipline, and creative thinking that you will be able to solve the biggest problems you face. As you prepare to go out into the world, do not forget the mountains you have climbed or the privileges you have enjoyed, nor the people who have guided you through both. Remember to reach out your hand in support of your comrade so that the opportunities you have been granted were not granted in vain. Please keep us at the college updated on your future achievements and be sure to stay involved in college activities and events as a member of our alumni association. Our alumni share a common experience across the last three decades and a connection built to last into the future regardless of the path you decide to take. Congratulations once again to all our stingrays and good luck. The HLSCC family is immensely proud of you. I would like now to invite the Minister of Education to bring greetings to the graduating class, followed by the Chairman of the HLSCC Board of Governors, Professor Emeritus, Dr. Arthur Richardson. Oh, allow me to correct myself. I would like to invite the Premier to bring greetings to the graduating class, followed by the Minister of Education and the Chairman of the Board. Thank you. Pleasant good afternoon to all of you. I recognize the protocol which has already been established, but certainly want to let you know how happy I am to be here at this graduation. And I recognize all of you who are here, graduates, and of course, all the dignitaries, and all the persons who have contributed to your success. Congratulations, first of all, on your milestone achievement of completing your course of study and graduating from your respective program. You have done the work. You have made the sacrifices. Today you are reaping the rewards, and even greater things are ahead. 
By now, you would appreciate that every stage of your journey has been about preparing you for what lies beyond that particular stage. And this is no exception. Enjoy this moment. Celebrate your triumph. You have earned it. But this is also an ideal time to think about moving beyond. Moving beyond is about keeping up your momentum. It is about putting your new qualifications to work for you, to advance you in your life, both professionally and personally. It is about venturing beyond your comfort zone and trying new things, exploring new territory. What is your next step? Is it venturing into a new career? Will it be starting a new business? Are you aiming for a promotion in your current job? Are you looking at further studies and academic qualifications and building the path to your dream profession? What are you passionate about? What excites you? What are your life goals? What do happiness and fulfillment look like to you? As you ponder questions like these and others, you'll gain greater clarity in what moving beyond means for you. And as you continue to move beyond and to achieve even greater things, remember you have a lot of supporters who are cheering for you. This includes the government of the Virgin Islands, which is also on a mission of moving the Virgin Islands beyond, our mission of nation building. One of our priorities is to expand the economy and to encourage diversification, which will create more opportunities and new industries for you to explore. Your future is full of promise. Just continue believing in yourself and staying focused on your goals. To the leadership, faculty, and staff of the H. Laverty Stout Community College, I say thank you for your continued dedication to the development of the human capital of the Virgin Islands. This is the college's 30th graduation exercise. Thousands of Virgin Islanders and residents have been educated and trained at this institution. Your contributions to moving the Virgin Islands beyond are beyond measure. The H. Laverty Stout Community College is one of our most treasured partners in our mission of nation building and preparing the Virgin Islands and its people for an even brighter and more prosperous and sustainable future. As we push the Virgin Islands and our economy beyond, we'll be depending on the H. Laverty Stout Community College to do what it has been doing for over three decades, empowering our people for successful careers and for leadership, whether it is leadership of public and private organizations or leadership of our country. On the 1st of June, 2023, we witnessed the landing of not one but two American Airlines direct flights from the US mainland, mainland to the BVI. The commencement of daily direct flights. This is the start of even bigger and better things to come. Together with the tourist board and other public and private stakeholders, we are working to stimulate more business for our tourism industry and more economic activity. We are aiming to expand the range of our tourism attractions. For example, redeveloping entertainment tourism and the meetings, incentives, conventions, and events subsector. This will drive the need for persons with the relevant training in tourism, hospitality, culinary arts, and the like. It will increase the need for qualified persons to work in our marine industry and expanding the economy. An, an expanding economy needs persons with business management training, human resource management, and logistics, just to name a few. We are all aware of the great work that HLSCC did in facilitating the solar training program. As the Virgin Islands moves to more sustainable energy options, there will be a demand for persons with skills in these areas. This government's vision is to put solar panels on every roof. Very soon, we will have to transition to electric and hybrid vehicles. 
We will need people to maintain and repair those vehicles, persons who are trained in the technology. We live in a digital world. Most of our businesses are using online tools. This became more prevalent during the pandemic. The government continues to roll out and enhance online services to make the public service more conveniently accessible to persons, especially on our sister islands. I was pleased to see that the H. Laverty Stout Community College is putting measures in place to allow persons to remain in Anigada and attend classes using online technology. Application development, website development, and other digital services are another area where there is a high demand for skills. Also last year, the government launched a rated program to help reduce unemployment and to address the need for certain services in some of our communities, but also to get more people trained and equipped to be more marketable in the job market, to become self-employed and to even open their own businesses. HLSCC has a huge role to play in the human resource development aspect of the rated program and the board and management have responded positively to this call to action. Again, I say thank you for your support. Together we are building this nation of ours. Together we are moving our Virgin Islands beyond, beyond the limits that we and others have perceived. Work is already underway to expand the range of programs at the college to equip future graduates for the change in demands of the economy the labor market and the territory. The H. Laverty Stout Community College can rest assured of the government's commitment as you are equally confident in its capabilities. We will continue to work closely. Our goals are the same. To our graduates, their teachers, lecturers, the administrative staff, the parents, relatives, and all who have contributed to the successes we are celebrating today, keep up the good work. Continue moving beyond, beyond all limitations and beyond all expectations. Whatever you can dream, you can achieve. I thank you, and may God continue to richly bless you. Premier, Dr. The Honorable Natalia Wheatley, Honorable Colleagues, Chairman Dr. Richardson and other members of the Board of Governors, President Dr. Richard Georges, faculty, parents, and graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is an honor and a privilege to stand before you today on such a momentous occasion. Graduation Day marks the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Today, we celebrate your achievements and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. I have had the privilege of witnessing and living out the transformative power of education. Education is not merely a means to an end. It is a journey of self-discovery, personal growth, and empowerment. And each of you sitting here today is a testament of that power. H. Laverty Stout Community College is a unique and invaluable institution. It opens its doors to students from diverse backgrounds, providing an accessible and inclusive environment to pursue higher education. As an alumna of this amazing institution, I know firsthand that HLSCC is a place where dreams are nurtured, talents are honed, and opportunities are unlocked. In this room today, we have future teachers, nurses, technicians, engineers, chefs, artists, entrepreneurs, and leaders. Each one of you hold within you the potential to make a difference in the world. The education you have received here has equipped you 
with knowledge, skills, and critical thinking abilities necessary to excel in your chosen field as well. I want to ensure that you remember, education is not just about acquiring knowledge. It is about developing a thirst for lifelong learning. The world you are stepping into is constantly evolving, presenting both challenges and opportunities. Embrace the challenges with courage, determination, and resilience. Let them be the stepping stones to your success and when the opportunities arise, seize them with enthusiasm and open minds. Always remember, you can't get change if you give exact. But if you give more, you get change. Embrace change, for it is true change that progress is made. As Minister for Education, my commitment to you and to all students across our territory is to create an educational system that nurtures and empowers. We will continue to strive to provide quality education that is accessible to all. We will ensure that our classrooms become vibrant spaces that inspire curiosity, foster creativity, and ignite a passion for learning. As you leave HLSCC and embark on the next phase of your journey, remember the lessons that you have learned here. Cherish the friendships you have made, the experiences you have had, the knowledge you have gained. Carry with you the values of integrity, empathy, and compassion. Embrace diversity and be inclusive in your actions. In closing, I want to congratulate each and every one of you on this momentous achievement. Your graduation is not only a reflection of your individual accomplishments, but also a testament to the unwavering support of your loved ones, the dedication of your teachers, and the strength of this amazing institution. I have no doubt that you will go on to make a profound impact on our society. Believe in yourselves, follow your passions, and never stop learning. Remember, education is not just a destination. It is a lifelong journey. Congratulations, class of 2023. Your tomorrow begins today. May your, future, may your futures be filled with endless possibilities, and may you continue to shine as beacons of knowledge, hope, and inspiration. I thank you, and God bless you. Honorable Premier, Honorable Minister of Education, President of the College, other members on the platform, Honorable Speaker, members of the Cabinet, Honorable Leader of the Opposition, Deputy Governor, other members of the House of Assembly, members of the Board of Governors, faculty, graduates. Having listened to the Honorable Premier in his address, and also the Honorable Minister of Education, I express the hope that as a group, you would embrace the advice given. I know as graduates, you are anxious to hold your associate degree in your hand and display it as a mark of your academic achievement. I personally know that feeling very well. When I graduated from the University of the West Indies Mona campus some 40 years ago, and that was the first time I put on this regalia, and I am sure you are happy to display yours as well. 
So here you are, and I congratulate you on your achievement. Most of you would have been at this institution for at least two years. During that period, you would have been exposed to new information, new skills, new techniques and strategies for processing information. During that experience as well, you would have employed your metacognitive skills to do research and process information to become independent and creative thinkers. I know that you would have been required to follow the published curriculum of the college for your specific subject area and discipline in order to receive your associate degree certification. You would have established relationships with fellow students and you would have recognized and appreciated the commitment of faculty as they taught and offered guidance as you navigated your way through this journey. You would as well have benefited from the support of your parents, guardians, and family members generally as you traverse the environment of the college. I am sure that you would wish to recognize all these players with a round of applause. My advice to you, though, is that you would regard this certification or attainment as just a small step in your academic and career development. In academia, there are other rungs on the ladder which are still left for you to climb. Enrollment in continuing education programs here at the college can facilitate such movement. I therefore challenge you as graduates to seek out opportunities and niches where you can further contribute to the development of this society. I should say here that I'm not necessarily thinking of the traditional disciplines, accounts, financial services, law, medicine, etc. There is a dire need for qualified teachers, nurses, physiotherapists, pharmacists, dental technicians, and a host of other areas that you can pursue. And as I said, the list can continue. And in attempting to address these needs, you can become the pioneering group of graduates with a laser-like focus on the fulfillment of the mission of, the com of community college education. Such a mission, as articulated by Barrington 2023, identifies workforce development, local and regional economic development, technical and vocational training, human capital formation, low-cost gateways to higher education, and community service. I endorse this focus for community college education. The Board of Governors welcomes the implementation of relevant programs at the college to fulfill the ever-changing needs of this society. And as I close, I leave with you this quotation from Confucius. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Buttering this quotation, it is my further admonition to you to harness your inner drive, to embrace your potential, to stay highly motivated and focused and strive for excellence in all that you do. On behalf of the Board of Governors, 
and on my own behalf, I extend heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2023 and offer best wishes in your future endeavors. Thank you. Honorable Myron Walwyn. We, we now proceed to the presentation of awards. For each award, the presenter and the graduate named or asked to come forward to present and receive the award. The President's Award. The President's Award goes to the full-time and part-time student with the highest cumulated grade point average. The full-time student, the full-time student achieving the highest cumulative grade point average is Safia Roberts. Please come forward. student achieving the highest cumulative grade point average is Kivon Kisnosemi. He also <laughs> he is also the recipient of the Chef Magavi Thompson Outstanding Achievement Award in Culinary Arts. The Vice President's Award for Leadership The Vice President's Award for Leadership goes to Tinix Catliff. The student recipient of this award has consistently demonstrated exemplary self-discipline and respect for others. Willingness to take responsibility, involvement in HLSCC extracurricular activities, self-confidence based on a positive life perspective, and leadership abilities in areas such as tutoring and mentoring of her peers on campus. The Dean's Award. Dr. Yamraj, come forward, please. The Dean, the Dean of Arts and Science Award is given this year to the top student in humanities, Sonia McGrave. The Dean of Workforce Training Award goes to the student with the highest grade point average 
for the Workforce Training Division. Mrs. Marva Wheatley Dawson, come forward. This award goes to Alana Alania Ophelia. Now for the program awards. The Chef Magavi Stamson Outstanding Achievement Award in Culinary Arts. The students receiving this award have demonstrated consistency, patience, professionalism, and overall skill development in the discipline of culinary arts. Mr. Kevon Kesnosemi. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Miss Alania Alana Ophelia. <laughs> Miss Denisha White. Our final corporate, finally our corporate awards, the Driftwood Spa Award. This year is awarded to the top student in marine professional training, Tia Leonard, who is not here today. Our recipient, for the Honest and Young Award is also not here today, but the award goes to the top student in accounting, who this year is Miss Alana George. These three awards from, from Tower Link Management Service Limited the awards are given to the following students. Top student in computer studies, Jaheem Daniel. Our top student in finance, Kiara Benjamin, is not here today. And the top student in small business and entrepreneurship, 
Shavane Simmons. Vending Innovations Award. This award goes to the most improved student in business, Alana Nikki. Good afternoon. I acknowledge the protocol already established. It is my privilege to introduce this afternoon's keynote speaker. A proud alumnus of the H. Lavady Stout Community College for the past 15 years, Mr. Darrell Flanders holds a Master's of Science degree in Aeronautics with a focus on safety management and aviation operations from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. By profession, Mr. Flanders is currently employed as a Certified Airports Council International Safety Manager for the British Virgin Islands Airports Authority, but by passion and experience, he prides himself on being an educator. After returning from university in 2013, and while employed by the British Virgin Islands Airport Authority as the then Quality and Safety Officer, Mr. Flanders sought ways to give back to the, his territory and was presented with the opportunity to become an adjunct lecturer at HLSCC in the Humanities Department, a role still served to this day. In 2015, he pursued a full-time career in education and later became the vice principal and secondary teacher for Sibony Center for Excellence in Virgin Guada, teaching subject areas of English, mathematics, chemistry, tourism, and Virgin Islands history. Mr. Flanders is also the founder of the Progressive Ministry Management, an artist development company, and has managed award-winning gospel recordist, recording artist, Gabrielle Dene, Oyenique, Dalen Jay, and Kendra. He is the author of Drive BVI, 30 Survival Tips for Driving in the British Virgin Islands a humanitarian project, and is the current president of the Friends of the Rotary Community Corps. The quote, never let one failure keep you from reaching your highest expectations, was developed by Mr. Flanders 15 years ago at his very own HLSCC graduation, a quote which continues to drive his resilience and passion for striving for excellence. Please help me welcome our keynote speaker, Mr. Darrell Flanders. Thank you, Dr. Baptiste. Good afternoon, everyone. I acknowledge the protocol already established. Class of 2023, let me hear you. Nah, that wasn't good enough. Let's try this again. Class of 2023, let me hear you. 
it's a little better. My heartfelt congratulations. It is indeed an honor to be here before you to give you the charge for moving beyond. I know you are ready to get those degrees and accolades, so I promise I won't be too long. At some point, we've all heard the quote, be the change you wish to see in the world. For years, I have used this quote by Gandhi to encourage and motivate students and peers alike because in it lies purpose and opportunity. But it wasn't until recently that I learned that Gandhi never even said that. Earlier this week, a friend of mine shared a TikTok video where a woman interested in the field of etymology debunks phrases commonly used, and the last one on her list was be the change you want to see in the world. I was curious enough to research it on my own, and here is what Gandhi actually said. We but mirror the world. All the tendencies present in the outer world are to be found in the world of our body. If we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. As a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change towards him. This is the divine mystery supreme, a wonderful thing it is and the source of our happiness. We need not wait to see what others do. The part of the quote that I want to focus on today is, as a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change towards him. We need not wait to see what others do. Your success today is just that, yours. What you have accomplished and achieved today has elevated you and your potential to the next level, and the world just has to deal with it. You are now a better version of yourself and the world will adapt to provide you with opportunities and options that are simply better. You've put in the work. You've made the sacrifice. You've dedicated and encouraged yourselves even when faced with hardships and difficulties. Now it's time to act. A-C-T. Acknowledge your accomplishments. Chart the course for your future and try resiliently. Don't let anyone tell you that what you have achieved today is not enough. What is conferred on you today represents those long nights, that work, school, family balance that you had to manage, the skills and abilities that you had to unlock and employ, and the challenges that ever so often made you doubt yourself that you overcame. It is more than enough. It is the foundation that you can proudly stand on so that you can chart the course for your future. Like many others, after graduating from high school, I didn't think HLSCC was the next step for me. I didn't see the value in achieving an associate's degree, honestly. And plus, I wanted to explore beyond our shores. But HLSCC showed me that I truly wasn't ready, that my mindset wasn't prepared for what was beyond those shores or even what was within our shores, and that I had skills and abilities that still needed to be honed. So, 15 years ago, when I sat where you are right now, I felt accomplished. I was ready for whatever was next because I had a foundation that sharpened my mind and my skills. Not to mention, I was on my way to university with scholarships, leadership experience, and an opportunity to achieve my bachelor's degree in just two years at the age of 18. It was more than enough. For many of you, that is the path that you are about to embark on. For some of you, you are on your way to that promotion because you are more qualified and advanced than before. And for others, you are about to launch a new career because you are fully equipped with the knowledge, skills, and experience that you have always desired. I challenge you that whichever course you take, 
begin with the end in mind. Habit two of Stephen Covey's Seven Habits for Highly Effective People is based on imagination, the ability to envision in your mind what you cannot at present see with your eyes. It is based on the principle that all things are created twice. There is first a mental creation and then a physical creation. If you don't make a conscious effort to visualize your goals and how to act, then you empower other people and circumstances to shape you and your life by default. Remember, Gandhi said, we need not wait to see what others do. It is about connecting with your uniqueness and then defining the personal, moral, and ethical guidelines within which you most happily express and fulfill yourself. Create a personal mission statement which focuses on what you want to be and do so that you can build a life of purpose, accountability, and fulfillment. You are your own leader, so put your goals into focus, chart the course, and keep moving forward. As gospel artist Israel Hofton sings, I'm not going back, I'm moving ahead, I'm here to declare to you, I'm moving, moving forward. Now, I am not saying that it is going to be easy. Because for every accomplishment, there are setbacks and challenges. Along every path, there are speed bumps and potholes. But that should never stop you from trying. For my HLSCC graduation ceremony, I was grateful to represent the class of 2008 as a student respondent alongside a good friend of mine. And in writing my response, I wanted to summarize my college experience in one quote. Never let one failure keep you from reaching your highest expectations. I'll say it again. Never let one failure keep you from reaching your highest expectations. This quote has become my motto, and I share it as much as I can. It represents resilience, perseverance, and determination. More accurately, it represents grit. Grit is having the courage to push through no matter what the obstacles are because it is worth it. It is choosing to hang on when you desperately want to let go. HLSEC taught me to have grit and quite frankly, it took grit for all of you to be sitting here today. At times, I failed. I failed exams, projects, expectations of myself, of others, I felt like I had bitten off more than I could chew. And I'm sure you can relate, or you are about to relate. But I challenge you to look at every failure as a single temporary moment that doesn't define you or change your future, but rather becomes a part of your story. Don't be afraid to try and try again and again. Give the world some time to adapt to who you are. Today you have built the foundation, so pave the way for someone else to do the same. Act on this experience. You've changed your nature, so instead of asking yourself, am I ready for the world? How about you ask the world, are you ready for me? Congratulations, class of 2023, you've earned it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flanders. We will now have a musical selection by the College Jazz Ensemble.
We now proceed to the student address, presentation of candidates, award, awarding of certificates, and conferring of degrees. Vice President for Academics, Academic Affairs, Dr. Arlene Smith-Thompson will initiate this aspect of the proceedings. We remind parents and friends not to congregate by the platform for picture taking. Thank you, Marshall George. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's better. I acknowledge the protocol that was previously established by Marshall George. I am honored to introduce the 2023 graduating class of the H. Levity Stout Community College. The class of 2023 is comprised of 142 graduates, 96 females or 69% and 43 males or 31%. 102 graduates are from programs in arts, sciences, and general studies, and 40 from workforce training, from our workforce training division. Today, 15 graduates will receive honors, eight cum laude, or three females, five males, five magna cum laude, four females, one male, and two summa cum laude, one male and one female. In this class, there are 11 graduates from Virgin Gorda and one from Jos van Dijk. <clears throat> the programs with the highest number of graduates are Business Administration with 27, General Science with 19 associate degrees and accounting with 13 degrees. 32 graduates will receive certificates of achievement. In the class of 2023, there are six triple awards and five double awards. The class of 2023 includes 15 Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society members Four are full members and 11 are provisional. It also includes 38 National Technical Honor Society members. In today's ceremony, a total of 157 awards will be conferred. 42 Associate of Arts degrees, 65 Associate of Science, 18 Associate of Applied Science degrees, and 32 Certificates of Achievement. The areas of concentration for the Certificates of Achievement and the numbers of candidates being awarded are Business Administration, five candidates, Computer Studies, one, Construction Technology, two, Culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry, seven, Electronic Engineering Technology, one, Engineering Architecture Inge Technology, one, Foreign Language, two, Land Surveying, one, Marine Professional Training 5, Office Assistance 2, and Supervisory Management 5. Areas of concentration for the awarding of Associate of Science degrees are Accounting, 13 candidates, Automotive Technology 3, Computer Studies, Business Information Systems 2, Computer Studies, Computer Information Systems 7, Computer Studies, Graphic Information Systems 2, Construction Technology 6, Culinary Arts 5, Electronic Engineering Technology 2, Engineering Architectural Technology 7, Finance 1, General Science 19, Land Survey 3, Marine Technology 7, and Small Business and Entrepreneurship 5 candidates. Course areas for Associate of Arts degrees are Business Administration, 27. Humanities, 8. And Human Services, 6. Congratulations, graduates, for achieving this academic milestone in your lives today and best wishes for your future.
This is a good juncture to give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to ask Mrs. Stephanie Russ Penn, head of the Mathematics and Science Department, to introduce the graduate respondent for today's ceremony, Mrs. Russ Penn. Acknowledging the established protocol, I extend a pleasant good afternoon to one and all, and a tremendous congratulations to the H. Laverty Stout Community College class of 2023. This afternoon, as the head of the Mathematics and Science Department, it is certainly my distinct pleasure to introduce Ms. Tinique Scatliff, our student respondent. Ms. Scatliff was born and raised on Tortola within the areas of Bellevue and Fat Hogs Bay. Her formative years began at Simmons Preschool and continued at the Alexandrina Maduro Primary School where she graduated as the salutatorian. At the Elmo Stout High School, her secondary alma mater, her intrigue of the human body motivated her to focus on the sciences. She has maintained that focus withstood the rigors, and today will graduate with her associate degree in general science. Additionally, she achieved membership in our chapters of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and our National Technical Honor Society. Tinique is now ready and excited for the opportunity to continue her tertiary journey and pursue her dream of becoming a pediatric nurse. When not studying, and taking needed breaks, especially from preparing for my anatomy and physiology assessments, Tinique stays active and busy as the captain, choreographer, and a dancer of the HLSCC Stingray Dance Team. She loves to dance, and she has done a tremendous job with the group over the last two years, and she will be missed. Additionally, she explores her entrepreneurial side through her passion for graphic design, an interest inspired by her mom. She even hopes one day to own her own graphic design business. Tinique is pleasant, curious, driven, ambitious, and an optimistic young lady. She's inspired by the following quote. I truly appreciate this opportunity. A big shout out to the graduating class from the Board of Honor Center, and I am glad that when someone is a God who gave me, I thank you all. I also want to recognize those who helped each and every one of us in some way to reach this high school for a program. To the government of the Virgin Islands for funding this very important tertiary education, we are beyond grateful for your continued support to this great Administration, faculty, and staff of the Gage Faculty Stuff Community College, we salute you for all you have done to help us get to this day. To our parents, guardians, family members, and friends, we put you on love, support, and encouragement, especially through the difficult times. Know that we love and appreciate you, and we say thank you. I would like to thank my family and my dad for your love, support, and encouragement. They help me with this my soul team. Thank you. But I must acknowledge all 
those who are graduating but chose not to walk, we did it. Congratulations. to make a speech in front of a crowd. You see, back then, I was very shy, and anything that included being in front of or around a large crowd absolutely scared me. The only thing I could have done in front of such a large crowd was dance, and that's a bit crazy, I know. However, almost two years ago, there was an opportunity for me to give a welcome speech. I accepted the task because I felt that I needed to challenge myself and I was telling everyone how excited I was to do it. I wanted to push myself into doing something I would never have done, and I know I could have done it, and guess what? I did it. <laughs> I say this to say, if you're ever put in a place where you must step out of your comfort zone, do it. You never know what the outcome will be. Today, I am here standing in front of you making this speech comfortably because five years ago, I decided to step out of my comfort zone. Many times in life, people are discouraged from doing something because it is considered ridiculous or unrealistic. These may all be true for them, but you can do anything that you want to once you put your mind to it. If you set your goals and work hard to achieve them, you most likely will reap the rewards of success. Our generation, in my opinion, has a habit of negatively speaking and having a negative outlook on things. I encourage us to start the change of speaking and having a positive outlook on our situations beginning today. As a science student, and in my first official year of college, I took biology. When I started biology, it was so different from the basic biology I did in high school that I was severely overwhelmed. There was so much information that we had to know for our weekly quizzes and our chapter tests. When I got my first test, I was like, gee, I can feel a real way. Test after test, I kept failing, and I barely passed the entire course. I passed with a C+, plus, which is really horrible in my opinion. My next semester of biology came, and history repeated itself. I barely studied for my test, and I passed my second semester with a C again, all because of my negative outlook. My end goal is to become a pediatric nurse. And in the next semester of biology, I took anatomy and physiology. These courses have a lot of information to learn and retain, from learning all of your muscles, to knowing how information is passed from cell to cell, how breathing happens internally and externally, all of the hormones and what they do, and much, much more. I knew that I needed to work hard in this class, because in the end, the information that I had to learn would be beneficial to me. I know I couldn't carry forward all the bad habits I had in my previous semesters. Before I signed up to take anatomy, I was really considering dropping out of science because it was too much information. I did not know if I could have handled the excessive pressure in the days to come. However, I made up my mind that I could complete anatomy successfully if I put in the effort. So I registered for the course with a positive mind and spirit. My first test for anatomy came around, and I put in a great deal of effort to learn all the material I needed to know. I did that, and I passed my first test with a score of 55 out of 60, which is an A, something I never achieved in the previous semesters of biology. These scores and effort continued throughout my entire anatomy semester, and I passed the entire course with an A. I want to pause and recognize Mrs. Stephanie Ross Penn, who taught our class with all our hearts. Let's give it a round of applause. <laughs> to all our HLSTC faculty, you are amazing, inspiring, and motivating. Know that we really appreciate each of you. Therefore, anything you want to do, you can. On the road to success, you will most definitely come across setbacks and struggles. And the only way to conquer those things and achieve your goal is to have strong perseverance and a positive attitude. My HLSCC journey would not be memorable if I only studied and made the grades, but I want to recognize the Student Life Department for giving me and many others the opportunity to represent HLSCC. 
with our many talents, whether in basketball, volleyball, softball, archery, or dance. Yes, I am still dancing in the front of crowds, and here at HLSCC, I was able to shine with my dance mates at many functions on campus within the community. Shout out to Miss Hodge and Trix. We love and appreciate all that you have done for and with us. <laughs> Only when I started making the grades did I realize there were other opportunities that I would be eligible for, including Phi Theta Kappa and the National Technical Honor Society. Both honor societies have inspired me to maintain my grades and continue to do well and excel. When we are truly committed, there is no obstacle in life that we cannot overcome. However, a lot of us fall short in both major and minor ways because our willpower was never strong enough. Because life is never easy, many of us stumble when faced with challenges. But if we work hard enough, we can conquer any challenge. In life, we don't need to move quickly. Instead, we should move steadily and gradually, keep going despite obstacles, be patient and wait for outcomes, and have faith and courage in ourselves. Never give up, never get discouraged. Always give your utmost in all you do. As a result, we must never, for a second, allow self-doubt to cloud our will and prevent us from achieving our objective. When we do this, the force that will push us toward our goal is weakened. Success in life comes when you simply refuse to give up, with goals so strong that obstacles, failure, and loss only act as your motivation. At some point in time, we cried, gave up, persevered, and cried again and again. However, we completed all two years of college. Let me tell you something, you all better brag about getting this degree, because I know I will. Every social media I have definitely will be hearing that I got my associate's degree from the best community college in the region, the A. Slavity Stout Community College. People may say, okay, you can shut up about it now. Just ignore them. No one knows what you went through to get here today. You deserve to be loud and proud of any minor or major accomplishment you achieve in life. We are graduating today, and many of us will begin working in entry-level positions this summer or in the fall which will mark the start of our careers. Some of us will move on to the next college at the very bottom of the ladder once more. But I'm confident now, because of what we've learned thus far, to heights we've never reached before, we'll keep ascending as though we're on an unending ladder. Many of us had most of our decisions made for us up to this point in our lives. It is now up to us to decide. So be certain and to make choices while you are fully aware that are guided by your heart rather than what other individuals think, say, or believe. Our impact on the world will be judged by how we share our special qualities within the world, not by how much money we make or how many awards we win. And the only place to look for such gifts is within. Now, remember, every day the sun won't shine, but that's why you should always love tomorrow. Thank you and congratulations to us, the class of 2023. Thank you, Ms. Tanique Scatley, for such a motivational address. Our future nurse, give her another round of applause, please. Thank you. The college currently offers two levels of certification. The Certificate of Achievement comprising of a minimum of 15 credits and the Associate Degree comprising a minimum of 60 credits. With the Registrar and Deans, now kindly present the candidates for graduation as noted in the program of the day. Would today's candidates for the certificates of achievement please rise?
President Georges, I have the honor of presenting to you and this assembly today's candidates for the Certificates of Achievement. The faculty, registrar, and the dean certify that each person to be named has completed all requirements for their program of study and recommend each for the award as noted in the program of the day. Would the marshals please bring the candidates forward to receive their certificates and our collective congratulations. President Dr. Georges, I present Kalia Stevens. Jorash Victor Cum Laude. Delio Walters. Eslisha Harry. Maria Oliver <laughs> Kevon Kesnasami Summa Cum Laude President's Award Part-time Student Achieving the Highest Cumulative Grade Point Average Kenya Matthew Asija Nibs Janaya George. John L. Vanterpool, Magnum Cum Laude. Kyla Salmon. Denisha White. <laughs> Lehman Johnny Cum Laude. <laughs> Jaquan Scatliff Cum Laude. Shakuda Pickering Cum Laude. President Georges.
reviewing the recommendations of the college's faculty and your dean, and by virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Governors of the H. Lavity Stout Community College, I award you the certificates as noted in the program of the day. Would today's candidates for the college's associate degrees please rise? President Georges, I have the honor of presenting to you and this assembly the candidates for the college's associate degrees. The faculty, registrar, and the deans certify that each person to be named has completed all requirements for their program of study and recommend each for the award as noted in the program of the day. Would the marshals please bring the candidates forward to receive their degrees and our collective congratulations. President Dr. Georges, I present Anila Stevens. <laughs> Kayla Ashton. <laughs> Tyree Campbell. Sanya Shinnery National Technical Honor Society. Roy Lee Christopher National Technical Honor Society. Jamie Coram National Technical Honor Society. Trina Deming. <laughs> Cheyenne Yusebe. Brianna Forbes. Jaria George. Martina Givens, National Technical Honor Society. Lokoi Green, Phi Tepa Kappa, Provisional Member. Michelle Jennings. Trevancia Letsam. Heather Ma 
Hardenborough Benitez National Technical Honor Society. Zena O'Neill. Shante Piper. Presley Rapset, Kyra Romney, Danae Springett. Shankwa Stevens, <laughs> Kayla Sylvester Phi Tepa Kappa National Technical Honor Society, Kayosha Teofile. Tobin Phi Tepa Kappa National Technical Honor Society. Kemoya Vantapool. Dejane Valak. Jamari Williams. Lauren Baptiste. Roquan Hemading. <laughs> Nivia Mills. <laughs> Kilburn Nisbet Paul. Koya Kwame Shekoya Scatliff Skyla Hodge Phi Tepa Kappa National Technical Honor Society. Gabrielle Badu, Phi Tepa Kappa, National Technical Honor Society. Shakaya Oliver. Keyonte Davis. <laughs> Sonia Musgrave, Phi Tepa Kappa, Cum Laude, Dean's Award for Top Student in Humanities. Kayana Parker, National Technical Honor Society. (laughs) 
Shakira Statliff, National Technical Honor Society. Rush, Rashawn Tyson. Tishana Andrew. Evelisha Bridgewater. Brianna Brumont. A. Andra Francis. Jahima Hendrickson. Crystal Henry Hodge. Kemoya Hodge, National Technical Honor Society. Lashanti Hodge. Gavin James. Daquan Johnson, National Technical Honor Society. Tikai Lewis. Olivia Smith. Lila Fonseca, National Technical Honor Society. B. John Christopher, Phi Tepa Kappa. Jaheem Daniels, Cum Laude, Phi Tepa Kappa. Nashon Hawk, Courtney James, Delano Nibs. Sekoy Smith. Robert Winter Jr. Teresha Basco. Anisha Card. Omaya Chawel. Fight a Pacapa, Cum Laude. Travisha Chawel, National Technical. Kalila 
wholeness. Carol Lewis. Deja Malone. Mararugo, Magnum Cum Laude, and Ika Martin Peters, Keandra Myers, National Technical. On a society, Kayana Parsons, <laughs> Navi Raj Patabson, National Technical Honor Society. Sophia Roberts, Summa Cum Laude, President's Award for Full-Time Students Achieving the Highest Cumulative Grade Point Average. Donnell Sanderson. Teja Smith. Janelle Thomas. Sienna Williams. Chastity George. Shamane Simmons, National Technical Honor Society. Brianna Smith. Dreonte Finley, National Technical Honor Society. Kyle Leader, Phi Tepa Kappa. Le Leonardo Lewis. Naya Davies. <laughs> Real Foy. Cleveland Penn National Technical Honor Society. Dear Batkin, Caleb Dawson, <laughs> Nick 
Keisha Davis National Technical Honor Society. Raphael Stoll, National Technical Honor Society, Phi Theta Kappa. Christian Abram. Giovanni Bannis. Kamali Christopher. Clifton Forbes. Stephen Ganger. Xavier George. Kazan Glasgow. Jada George National Honors Technical Society Phi Theta Kappa. Cynic Henry. Lanny John Olania Ophelia Magnum Cum Laude Michaelia Whitley President Georges, Will the graduates please stand. Reviewing the recommendations of the college's faculty and your dean, and by virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Governors of the H. Lavity Stout Community College, I award you the degrees as noted in the program of the day. On behalf, on behalf of all other HLSCC classes that have gone before you, I add my congratulations to you, the HLSCC class of 2022-2023.
2023. In life, though, every accomplishment comes with both privileges and obligations. As an HLSEC alumnus, you now have an obligation to support the institution. At minimum, an obligation to yourself to maintain the value of your diplomas and certificates. More so, you each have the privilege of providing those who come after you with the opportunity to attend an institution with fewer faults than you left it, and more of the attributes that have added to your growth as a person, as a professional, and as a citizen of whatever community in which you reside. I now therefore invite you before other alumni, your family, friends, and the community to receive a traditional induction as an H. Lavity Stout Community College alumna. I invite other college alumni to stand and join us as we recite the following pledge. or rather as I recite the following pledge. You are now officially recognized as alumni of the H. Lavity Stout Community College. Your lifelong connection to this fine institution continues through your active participation in the HLSCC Alumni Association, whether on Tortola, Virgin Gorda, Jos van Dijk, Anagata, or in any other body or community in which you may find a community of HLSCC alumni. Welcome to this body of stakeholders that plays an integral part in the HLSCC family. Thank you. You may sit. Can the driver of RT 2354, it's a Kia, please remove your vehicle. You are blocking someone who needs to leave immediately. Thank you. I now call Minister Tittle forward for affirmation, followed by the benediction. Can we all stand, please? Let's put our hands together one more time for class of 2023. Let's say it for them one more time. Come on. After me, say after me, I can, I will, I must be phenomenal because greatness is upon me. I will walk like it, I will talk like it, I will act like it because I am phenomenal. All right, put your hands together one more time for them. 
They are phenomenal and congratulations. Congratulations. And I'm proud of you guys. I believe in you guys. Let's pray. Father and eternal God, we thank you for this accomplishment. We thank you, O God, because you're the one who have brought us this far by faith. We thank you because we found in you, Lord, the strength and the hope that we need, O God, in time when we didn't know what to do, Lord. I thank you for them today, O God, as they go forth, Lord, into their next chapter, Lord. I pray that you will keep your hands upon their life, Lord. I ask that you will build a hedge around them, O God. I pray that you will make sure, Lord, the right supporting system, Lord, is in place, Lord, as they embark on their next chapter, Lord. Build a hedge around their life continuously. Bless the homes where they are coming from, Lord. Bless their parents, Lord. Thank you for the teachers, Lord, that you have placed in their life, Lord. I ask that you'll continue to give them the wisdom, O oh God, as they continue to do your will, Father. As they continue to guide, nurture, and protect this generation, Lord. I thank you for them. I ask, O oh God, as we're about to leave this place, Lord, I ask that you will go with us and continue to bless us. In your name, amen. Thank you, Minister Tito, for your affirmation and prayer. The graduation exercise are now concluded. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the procession. <laughs> 